my concerns with TCM, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Hello, game. Hope Let's hear it. Good. I'm sorry I haven't been streaming f lately. I uh, I haven't really felt the passion anymore for. I Evil feel Dead. that. Well, not Evil Dead, but I feel that in general. Reason, but uh, I'm not gonna go into any details to talk about Evil Dead today. I did, however, see the developer stream for uh, TCM the other day, and. I am really looking forward to it. The, the game looks absolutely amazing. I uh, uh, I played the the the, the, the playtest and uh, it was so much fun. I was having a really good time when playing both uh, family members were and the survivors. It was uh, it was a really good time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I also played the uh the test and it was i enjoyed it very much um i watched the dev stream and i saw that i did not see that I, though uh, i saw all the 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 skills and the perks that they were showing and uh, all that good shit it looked really fun and uh it, yeah it just looks great i'm looking forward to grind it out but uh, i there was something in the stream that didn't feel right to me it was mm -hmm. like a disconnect from what the game's purpose is and how the developers want the game to uh how it wants to progress i mm -hmm. tell me about it. i saw the scene i didn't watch the stream i heard him say that he wants the game to be a non-competitive game mm -hmm. which is really weird to me i think oh, any, same same let me just let him game let him cook history like a game any game not even a video game you can have like board games anything True. anything that has pvp in nature is automatically a competitive game that's fair that is fair i also don't understand the whole let's just make competitive games casual it doesn't make any sense to me however the thing is that like dead by daylight right dead by daylight is a competitive game and the devs of that game are trying to make it more casual but that game is literally a 4v1 and people just want to win right of course when it comes to like texas chainsaw massacre you could play the game casually but at the end of the day people are going to want to win but if you're able to make the game from the ground up as a casual kind of scene it, it could work but most people are not most people don't play pvp games casually they play it to win it right and I so yes i also don't understand we're gonna be like no dude this is just gonna be a fun game it's gonna be just like friday the 13th and mm -hmm. and uh sure you 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 can say that you could say that the issue is mm -hmm. there's always gonna be people that takes the game a lot more seriously and yes. a lot more competitive than yes. you do. Yes. And that is nobody's fault. It's not. You bought the game, mm -hmm. you can play it however you however want. However you want to play it. As long it. as if you're following the rules. Yep. Um, my, my point is that the developers build a system and they describe it like and they even have it in their title. The, the, the title of the dev stream, the metagame of of uh, TCM. Oh, and they put meta in the title. Uh oh. Like how you, how you optimize. Yeah, meta meta equals optimizing. You're when you're doing meta stuff. Even in World of Warcraft, there's a meta. When you're doing meta stuff, you're basically trying to optimize everything you possibly can to save as much time as possible in the pve environment in the pvp environment you're using certain perks suiting certain builds to constantly win matches all the time 24 7. right so there's a difference each thing has a meta but when you put meta in a title of something and then you say that you're trying to make a game casual ah, he kind of messed up a little bit there game, your character before the actual game and where mm -hmm. how you just build your character to its Fullest potential. Yeah, yeah, the characters have levels, I would assume. I didn't see the live stream, but I'm assuming to unlock the perks in most games you have to unlock. Uh, you have to level up, all right? Call of Duty has it. You have to level up to unlock perks, weapons, etc. So I'm assuming because there was no perk system or anything. From what I saw, it looked pretty good from the 
not PTV, but like from just the testing thing. The testing thing looked pretty good. You're going to have to level up the, your character or whatever the heck it is for the leveling system, of course. Uh, and you want to do that as fast as possible for each character because you don't want to be sitting there like, well, unless you're a casual player, then whatever. It's not going to really matter. But for me personally, I want to level up every character. I want to try out all the perks for each character, figure what the best one is, and then roll with that until they change it. <laughs> sure. Right? So, so yeah, you can beat the other team. And exactly. In my mind, that is competitive in nature. That's competitive in nature. Yes. That, that just confuses me. It just mm -hmm. feels like there's such a disconnect of what the game is. Mm -hmm. It is a three v one though, so I like I like that. If we take Evil Dead for example, when mm -hmm. they, when Evil Dead launched, I never played that game. I remember I played the game early from the beginning. Uh, I played Demon immediately. Uh, it was super fun. Uh, the thing is, though, I lost my first game the very first day I played. That's my normal. Very first game. Normal. After that, I didn't lose a single game for like 300 games. That's and crazy. I'm not even joking. That's impressive. And Damn. the reason for this to happen is because there's no matchmaking in the game. So every okay. time I went into another game yeah. against random players at yeah. a different skill level, some people might think that this is fun. The issue is... I think, sure, listen, I, I like going just... I don't want to constantly sweat all the time. So having an M... Like, you can put in a skill system. You know how, like, Battlefield, Battlefield 4 has a system where whoever gets the most points... They usually, the first two that have the most points usually end up on opposite teams, so it balances out the, the, a bit. So you can have the sweats, and you can have the casuals, and everybody's killing everybody, and everybody's getting kills, right? You don't have to keep complaining that you're going like 0 and 15, because the MMR was like, hey, you belong up here now for absolutely no reason in the competitive, not competitive, but the people that are very competitive environments, and you can't even get a single kill because it's like, you're af it's after work. And you're just trying to play the game <laughs> like you know what i'm saying so yeah uh you could put competitive elements in or not competitive uh ele mmr elements into it because it's been in the game since i don't know how long like i played cod 4 and it was in there too so whatever uh you can put stuff like that whoever has the most score goes on to this team you can't really do that in games like this though but yeah i mean i'm sure they could figure it out but when you put mmr into it it completely completely destroys the game there is no fun you're either sweating if you're not sweating you're losing and that's just not my type of thing all the time you know i like to come in just chill have a good time get some clips like youtube clips of funny moments whatever but i'm not like here to constantly win all the time sweat 24 7 that's just not me right i can think it's fun to just stomp noobs all day but the yeah see that's no <laughs> no no, because you're put into the environment, as I said, where you're, it's a mix. You have to have a mixed bag, okay? It's not about stomping noobs all day. It's about everybody just enjoying the game and making friends. That's all it is. That's literally all it is. Like, you know? The fact is, there's a player on the other side that is on the receiving end. Yeah. And that guy is not having a good time. And that's just No, but if you were to put MMR into the game, that guy is really not having fun. Once that guy, if that guy somehow miraculously gets 15 kills and one death, his MMR is just boosted. Even though he had one good game out of the five. His MMR is now boosted. He's going to a different skill skill uh, gap, right? Just because of that one game he had a good time on. Now for the next seven, eight, ten games, he's getting like no kills. He's having no fun at all because the MMR, MMR said, hey, you belong up here now based on that one good game. <laughs> That's a fact. So by not adding matchmaking into games that have PvP, yeah, matchmaking, yeah, 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 competitive nature, just a little bit, not MMR. Always gonna bring in competitive people mm -hmm. that is absolutely gonna shit on people that are trying to play the game in a different way. Mm -hmm. I go. Some people go into the game to have fun, goof mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. have a have a scary experience or whatever that's fun and then yeah on the other it's side fun. you have that the competitive the competitive guy. people yeah it's 
it's gonna ruin your day. He's gonna go in there and yeah. he's gonna do his. He's gonna go in there. He's gonna go in there. Already sweat, already dripping off of his face. He's got a bucket under his chair to catch it. You know, sitting there with a diaper on, probably a hole in his chair with a little another bucket underneath to catch the poop. Maybe no diaper. He's just sitting there, right? Like he's he is there to fuck up your day twenty four seven. He's not moving. Fuck that guy. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> absolute best to just win the game. I know a lot yep. of people dislike the mention of matchmaking uh, because it associates with competitiveness. Matchmaking is okay. I don't I'm care. I'm not saying that there should be MMR some sort of matchmaking. Not MMR though. People. Like not not that I'm not the stuff they have MMR now. Is also there you know what I mean? Protect the non-competitive people. Yeah, no. I don't I don't want it. Around and not always get shit on every game just because they they won't get that once they if they actually put in the time to learn see what you're doing is you're creating a safe space a we'll call it a safe bracket if you will of people that if they just learn the game a tiny bit they'd be fine they'd be okay right but and now you're gonna punish me because I have days where I want to win most of the time and I have days where I just want to play casual, right? So the days where I want to go into a game and win most of the time is now ruined because I'm now in, up in this bracket that I can't go down from because the game says, hey, no, you can't do that. You've played competitive all day yesterday. You can't have a chill day. You have to keep sweating. You better go get your fucking buckets out of the garage and put them under your chair. You're doing this all day. Fuck that. I don't play games like that. That's not for me. <laughs> they want to play the game in a different way. And from my experience, there's going to be a lot of people that are, that are going go, going to go into this game. They're going to play for the meta. They're mm -hmm. going to optimize their builds. They're going to optimize their team compositions just mm. to be... And that's fine. Like strong as possible. That's so fine. Beat the other team. So you lose. So you lose that one game. You're like, eh, you know? The, the other team was clearly way better than I was. I, I'm going to go look up some YouTube videos on how to get better. Okay, hopefully these guys that I saw maybe have some YouTube videos that I can look at that teach me what the fuck I'm doing wrong. Now, most people are not going to do that because they're just trying to win. So, I mean, like, you just go in there, get just get it over with, and then just move on to the next game. That's all you got to do. That's it. Since there is no matchmaking in this game, there's mm -hmm. not going to be any matchmaking in the beginning. I'm going to... There shouldn't be at, ever at all. Go in with two of my friends... We are going to optimize the shit out of the family members mm -hmm. and play as hard as we can, as good as we can. Yeah. And since the game is not, doesn't have any matchmaking, we're going to get matched against a bunch of solo queue players. A lot of them going to be playing for the first time. And this will happen. There's going to be one survivor. He just walks into a wall. He AFKs and then he DCs because his mom is calling for him and it's, it's dinner time. Okay, whatever. <laughs> like, and uh, so he doesn't. He doesn't. So so the good thing is that you don't necessarily have to rely on the team. Where in like Dead by Daylight, you have to do five gens. Okay, you have to do five gens. If you don't do five gens, you ain't escaping. Try doing five gens by yourself not easy let me tell you actually it goes down to like i think two or three when you're in a private match as a solo player so i mean trying to do gens that take about a minute to even activate a minute and a half maybe to even activate by yourself while also trying to hide from the killer isn't that easy unless you know what you're doing of course then maybe but for the most part isn't that easy you'll probably get found at some point so uh this game is a bit easier and not that complex. You don't have to rely on your teammates. You can just escape by yourself and fuck the rest of them. You know what I mean? All you have to do, really, is just have to have, bring a bone knife for, for now. I don't know how it's going to be. Like, in, in the uh, in the trial, it wasn't in the trial thing. All I, ha all I did was I brought a bone, a bone knife to disable the one trap that most of the time was at one generator. And then I just left. I walked right out. Like, that's that's all I had to do. F the rest of the teammates. I don't really care. Figure it out, <laughs> right? Now you like you can play like that, or you can play as a team. It's it's entirely up to you how you play. Uh, the killer, the 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 killers though, you should be playing as a team because if you're not, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Like at least have a microphone. That's all I'm saying. Play as a killer. Please at least have a microphone because typing takes way too long. All right.
But for the victim, you don't need to do that. You can play chill as a victim. Okay. I also am curious about how the victim perks are going to be because that could speed up how fast you could escape. And if there's like solo specific, not solo, but if there's like, well, I guess, yeah, solo. If there's like specific perks that only affect you as a solo player, then fine. You know, it'll make it way faster, but we don't, I, I have, I did not see the live stream. So I have no idea what the perks are going to be like or anything like that. But the main point is in this game, you don't have to rely on a team to get you out when you're playing the victim. Okay. It happened a lot in the PTB. Nobody as a vic hardly anybody as a victim was using microphones. The only ones that were, were in a, like a discord call talking amongst each other, you know? So most of the time, no one was really typing. No one was really talking as a victim. They just did what they had to do and got out. Okay. So you don't have to use a team, which is, I like that. Like, I like that either. It's either I help them or I don't. That's it. The cry baby. And one guy is sweating his ass off, but you know, he's alone. So he can't win because you know, solo queue, but he doesn't have, he can win in this game. He can win because I've escaped myself as a solo player. I actually have videos of it. Many friends to play with. So that's his fate. Uh, he's just gonna get this game is not dead by daylight. Three three family members yeah he can if he stays That's stealthy you you can do that of the games for us i can tell you this we'll see, though. immediately that's how it's gonna be it's not my fault it's not the the, the guy who dc's fault mm -hmm. it's not the well to be fair it is i mean kind of like <laughs> if you if your mom says hey Din's gonna be ready in five minutes and you queue into a game knowing Din's gonna be ready in five minutes uh why the hell would you do that this <laughs> is the other survivor's fault that's just how it is I mean, a little bit <laughs> if you don't have matchmaking and if we're gonna go in there and we're gonna plummet every game until we find another competitive survivor team a full stack survivor team and that's the only time we're gonna have an even game it's, that's the only time it's gonna be be somewhat an even playing field that, I mean, that, yeah, true, technically, if he goes with the meta thing, yeah. 20 other games before that happens. Probably. That's what but this is, this is the first day, okay? This is the first day. So if you're going to go that hard on the first day, I'm going to be honest, that does, like, no, it does sound like a you problem, right? Because you're going to be sitting there stomping the vast majority of noobs that don't know what they're doing yet. There's no videos to help them yet. So they're all just kind of winging it, right? They're just kind of winging and putting stuff together. So, I mean, technically, if you didn't play the PTB, you're already at a disadvantage, right? If you didn't watch YouTube videos about the game, you're already at a disadvantage right then and there. That is what is going to happen to TCM. Yes. You can mark my words on that. You can. That will happen. I agree, though. I promise you. This is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And that's also what's worrying because some people want, some people hear the devs, they say this game is not competitive and they're like, yes, man, fuck yeah. Let's just go, dude. I am going to go in there. I'm like, I'm going to have so much fun. You go in there and you get your ass whooped all the fucking time against these pre-made teams that just wants to win the games. Like I said before, there's nothing wrong with wanting to win. Some people no, there's not. No, that's true. Expectations of a game mm -hmm. and wants to play the game their way. Mm -hmm. If I go in and play in a, in a competitive game or a PvP game, I want to win. If you load into that's a true, game yeah. and you have uh, three survivors and one random guy, the random guy wants to goof around while the three other guys are competitive. Mm -hmm. they're, they're most likely not going to win. Listen, I'm I'm. <sighs> Even when I'm playing casually, I'm trying to like play somewhat competitively. Like if you see any of my videos, I'm playing as like, what's his, I'm going to call him the trapper, but I forget what his actual name is, but I'm walking or I'll play as Leatherface, right? I'll play as Leatherface. I'm in the basement. I'm doing my thing. I'm praying to God <laughs> that, that my team is upstairs, turning on gens, setting traps, 
listening for people telling me where people are like i'm i'm still waiting for that stuff to happen i'm still waiting for you to tell me and i'm praying that everything happens like that and if i gotta leave the basement to go do your fucking tasks because i see you in the basement not doing what you're supposed to be doing i'm already pissed like this is the base like basic concepts right basic concepts of just knowing what your role is please <laughs> that's i get mad at that <laughs> And they're you know, that time. And I understand that some people And I will yell at you like, like matchmaking please for like skill based matchmaking or rank based ma If it's the COD style matchmaking, that's fine. You get points, here's some points, you lose points, you go down bracket, you get points, you go up bracket, or you just get put into like I don't want this MMR thing. That's when I like I don't like the MMR system that games are currently using. That shit sucks. I don't want to be competitive 24/7. I want to have games where I can decide to be competitive or I can decide not to be competitive, right? I have a video in my what in one of my videos where I'm just chilling, right? I'm going after this uh, after the victim. It, she looked like a new player. She looks like a noob. You're probably gonna die, but like she looked like a noob, so I'm like, okay, you can go up the stairs. Like I open the door for her, I let her go up the stairs, close the door. I'm not concerned about it, right? Like she probably she probably gonna die, and she did, <laughs> right? But I can do that, right? Because it's because I know that my team may or may not be good, but if my team was actually good and I was in that high skill bracket, one, I probably wouldn't see that person there, but like maybe because. Maybe she had like three games where she escaped back to back to back and now she's in this random competitive game. Like my skill bracket, right? She's in this higher skill bracket and she's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I, don't, I still don't know. Like she doesn't understand the game still. That happens a lot in Dead, Dead by Daylight. Uh, not as frequently anymore, but it used to when MMR was first in the game. Uh, people would get put up into this bracket and they have like absolutely no idea how the game even works because they were just playing chill and casual the entire time until MMR got introduced. Now they're like, what am what is this? Like I'm losing all the time, right? <laughs> right? So please don't put, I would rather have a mixed bag over just one thing, you know? And if I get into that competitive environment, I'm gonna be honest, where I get up into that high skill bracket, I'm going to make a new account and I'm going to just play casually on that new account that's what i'm gonna do i'm not even gonna bother, waste my time like i'm gonna just play on that one and then eventually if i get a high skill bracket again where i can't go back down if i want to uh, i'm gonna just make another account do it again that's what i'm that's literally what i'm gonna do i'm basically gonna smurf i don't i really don't care <laughs> like i don't want to be up in that competitive bracket all the time 24 7. it is what it is Matchmaker, or whatever you want to call it a mixed bag yes, is better is. That we That's what I'm saying. Have it. There's always one, one team or one guy that is gonna suffer from someone who plays the game harder than you. Mm -hmm. There's also gonna be people that suffer from players that don't play the game as hard as I am. For example, there was this one match where I'm pretty sure I'm the cook, and it was. I don't know if it's a slaughterhouse or if it's a farm. I have no idea what the actual map was called, but it wasn't like the family house. It was a different map. And me as the cook, I had to go make sure that the guy was. What did I have to do in that video? I have to remember off of memory. It was a long time ago. It was like two, three months ago. I'm pretty sure I had to go. I think I went to the other side. I'm pretty sure he walked past me, so I went to go to the other, where he spawned, where the trapper spawned, I'm the cook, I went to go where he spawned because I saw him way too quickly, and he didn't turn on the generator, so I had to turn on that generator. Meanwhile, while I'm turning on that generator, the, my other two teammates, who have no idea what the hell they're doing, uh, let this other survivor go, and it's in my video, I don't know exactly what happened, all I know is that survivor got to that gate, and that gate was open because my teammates don't know what they're doing, right? Okay, <laughs> and that like that's fine. I have no problem. I will teach you. You know, you have a microphone. I'll, I will communicate with you. I don't know what it was in the in the test thing, but it, the microphones were either working or they weren't. It was weird as hell. But if they actually work this time, like I will help you. Let me help you. I have no problem with that. Like I will, I will gladly help you learn how to play the game. No problem. Uh 
I don't even know what the fucking point was now because I went on a, basically a rant. <laughs> one guy or one person is gonna is gonna have a really bad time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So if I'm paired with two noobs that don't know what they're doing, I'm already having a bad time. But I could make it a fun time by helping them play the game. I don't even know why I keep looking that way. There's nothing over there. <laughs> but yeah, I could have a good time too by helping them play the game. I could make friends right there. And that's gonna kill mm -hmm. the game for him, so he's gonna quit. It also kills. It, it would, yeah. I'd just be mad and just not play for the rest yeah. of the day. <laughs> because when I play solo queue, I would love to have teammates that are on my level, and I don't. I, I I I don't really care. Like the game is is pretty simple that I can escape myself. Uh, perks are gonna make it easier or harder, of course. I don't know how the perks are. I really want to know, but. At the base default game, get out of here, you fucking fly. The base default game, uh, I can escape by myself, no problem. And I'm probably going to build, build. I'm probably going to make a build around just me escaping and see how that goes as a victim. If I run into too many matches where people aren't talking as a victim. Want right? The, the, the five-year-old Jimmy that just got home from school and think that he can play uh, that he can play one of the survivors and uh, then after five minutes he just goes AFK and get killed by Bubba. Listen, that guy's gonna die no matter what. It, it, like, it is what it is. Why is he even playing that game? <laughs> that's the real question. That's not someone I want in my team, but that's something that matchmaker would help me get rid of. I'm not saying- mm, Just a little bit. Become the next eSport. That's not what I'm saying. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is that a PvP game is competitive in nature. In nature, I agree. And they, the devs need to realize that and they, they need to see that. Mm -hmm. Because the game is going to have some issues if they don't. And I know that they said that if the game requires matchmaking after six months, they might add it. Guess what? What happened to Evil Dead? They added matchmaking and it was way too late. It was way too late. No, 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 no. Because Dead by Daylight did the same thing where they added matchmaking and the game started to die because the game simply wasn't balanced enough for the competitive players, right? It simply wasn't balanced enough, right? And people, like, like I said, people don't want to sweat. There are some people that do want to play competitively sweat like it's a fucking esports tournament like they're getting paid ten thousand dollars like they want to do that 24 7 all the time no matter what most of us are competitive in nature but we don't want to sweat esports level 24 7 that's the difference that's the difference the entire the entire time and that's not something i want to see with tcm because tcm has a very 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 good foundation and it's i agree it's a really fun game i agree to that too i i, I can't wait to play it it just mm -hmm. sucks that a game could die because you don't look at you don't look at the whole picture and you try to push survivors into playing in a specific way that that the game's nature is not supposed to be played PvP games are competitive. That's just how it is. I, I agree. Like, like I said, I agree to that 100%. Sure, you, you might have some goofy games and fun games. And there should be a small, like, not a massive fucking gap, 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 or bracket, 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 bracket. You know, you got, like, rocks, potatoes, uh, I don't know, casuals, and then esports, right? There shouldn't be brackets for each thing, you know? Uh, like, I mean, I say all the time that... Rank mode wouldn't work in Dead by Daylight. I believe rank mode might work here because you can play casual and you can play competitively in this. I don't think it'll work in Dead by Daylight because most people in that game smurf anyway. Most people get content by smurfing. People, people who play the game for content, for views, do things a bit differently. Uh... <sighs> I, I personally still don't think a rank mode would work in that game. However, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try. But it might have, like, my way of thinking is that Dead by Daylight always had a rank system. They always had emblems. Like, they have the emblem system. They updated the rank system. They got, like, a rank icon, rank emblems. And people wanted that taken out. So, 
for me, that's basically why I say a rank system wouldn't work in Dead by Daylight. Because they they're already removing the elements of people being better than you in the game already. Why would a rank system even matter? It wouldn't in that situation. Right? Because the emblem system doesn't matter anymore. The rank system doesn't matter anymore. It just shows how, how much you played that, that month, basically. Uh, nothing, nothing competitive-wise in Dead by Daylight matters at all. Anything you do. And the more you're good at the game, the slight MMR will put you up in the higher bracket where you just... It's like, why the fuck am I here wasting my time? I don't, I don't want to play competitive 24-7 for literally no reward. You get nothing for being good at the game nothing at all other than fucking pain and misery <laughs> that's all you get if you lose you're pissed that entire fucking time <laughs> right you don't get a reward for it you're not you're not encouraged to improve your skill in that game so anyway that's that's dead by daylight though we're talking about this game this game easily no problem at the core base of its game could have a casual in a rank mode no problem just put it in there on release casual rank mode here it is Put a scoreboard for the rank mode. Of course. <laughs> put, put a scoreboard. People want to see a scoreboard. Put the dang scoreboard. Right? That'll work here, no problem. No problem at all. Okay? So they should do that, at least. At the very least, just put it in there, see what happens. A Dead by Daily is a different topic. We're not going to talk about that. Like, like, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that game. In games that aren't super competitive, that will happen. But you will mm -hmm. also get face rolled by... You know? And... And my point, another point I want to make is that Dead by Daylight started off as a competitive-ish game. It pushed you to go for like rank ones and stuff because like if, if you could push rank one way back when like Freddy or something was even before that. I know whatever the emblem system was introduced basically. If you could get rank one with the new emblem system that was implemented, it means you were actually really good at the game, right? You were really good at the game. This is a rank one person. He's going to stomp on you. It is what it is. <laughs> like, just play that game. Learn from it. Don't learn from it. Just play it. Boom, move on. It is what it is. The game is now balanced more towards the casual people, right? Every time a, some survivor thing happens, people rush into it, and it's just it's just a good fun time. I'm not knocking it. Okay, I'm I'm not knocking it. I'm just mad that Dead by Daylight could have been much better than what it is now, but you know. They're trying to go for, they're trying to go from competitive to casual. And I think that's probably a bad idea. But uh, like I said, that's a, a Dead by Daylight is a completely different topic. I'm just taking it from Dead by Daylight because that's the closest thing I have uh, knowledge of. By teams that queue up against you. And since there's no matchmaking, that, that's just going to happen. And mm -hmm. uh, besides... The, rank or not rank. Game, that's that's the matchmaking that's a, system I want. That's a very good foundation. Yes. I think if they would let it be competitive, it would be the fuck a is up in my hair. good competitive game. I, I think I would... It could. It I could It could easily. To ...watch competitive uh, TCM. That would be amazing. I, I, I don't watch. The only thing... The only competitive thing I watch is like CSGO. <laughs> they want to play the game mm -hmm. without being shamed by other other players yes and that's exactly and that's exactly what happened in dead by daylight because of the rank system people were so bad at the game they would complain about the rank system so now rank in that game literally doesn't matter whatsoever at all which again is why there's no point in putting a rank system into dead by daylight because they've already stripped the the entire purpose of it out of the game already so let's not go down. Let's not make the mistake that Dead by Daylight has made. Please, okay? Just implement a rank or non non rank system into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's the that's the best thing you could do off off the rip. Don't put MMR into it for the love of God, please. Told by the developers how they're not supposed to play the game. Mm -hmm. If there's a custom lobby in TZM. I probably People don't want to get told how to play the game either by developers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm playing the game the way that I want to fucking play it. I bought it. You made it. I'm playing it the way I want. People don't want that either. On day one, people will queue up in custom lobbies and start min-maxing strategies. That's true. Just, like, just to become the best in a game. Mm -hmm. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And with There's that not. said... Uh, Makes good content videos. For listening to me, guys. I, uh, You're welcome. 
like it, it's it's just my opinion, so mm -hmm. you don't have to, you know, take everything I say so seriously. But True. it's just some. He made he made he made some valid points, but I don't want to see an MMR system in any game at all. The way it should be for every comp for every competitive game, there should be a non rank mode and a rank mode. That is the best thing you can do. So if you see a noob or a casual going into rank mode, they don't fucking belong there. Bye bye. You're getting smack talks the entire time. You don't belong here. <laughs> this this is the rank mode. Get your ass back to casual until you figure out how to play the game. <laughs> uh, with the game after listening. That's to all you have to do. <laughs> I feel that it's gonna become a problem. Yes. Uh, it has happened before. It will, of course. I definitely happen again. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, I would love to uh, hear what you guys think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm definitely open for discussions. But uh, leave a comment. I'll uh, yeah. see you guys on uh, release day. And hey, yo. Uh, same. Take care. Not not to that guy though. But I will also be doing the same thing. Schneeps, we're not we're not we don't have time. Stop! 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 <laughs> yes, I agree. Again, I think the easiest solution. Pause. Uh, the easiest solution is to just put in a rank and non-rank mode. Do not MMMR system to competitive games. We don't need it. We don't need the that's that's the easiest and simple way to protect the casuals is to make a cash to separate the casuals from the people that want to try hard at the game. Okay. Yes, people will go from casual to hard or ranked, and yes, people will go from ranked to casual. It is what it is. Okay. People want to have a chill game. Some people don't. So that is the easiest solution any competitive game can make. Rank mode, have a leaderboard for the rank mode. Have rewards for being good at the game at that kind of level for ranked mode. You can have rewards for casual people too. Let's not leave them out either, right? But, you know, incentivize competitive players to stay in the rank mode. You know what I mean? And then just have like something for the casuals that just want to play the game. Just chill with their friends on, on a like on a Saturday when it's their day off. You know what I mean? Just want to play TCM all day. That's honestly, I think that is the best solution. Ranked and unranked. I'm going to keep saying this, repeating the same thing now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to subscribe to this guy. This guy seems pretty chill. I will leave. How do I get the link for the over here? I will leave. Wait, I'm stupid. Share copy there we go i will leave a link in the description if you want to check out this video for yourself because i have a thing where i have a ducking system so that i talk and the sound gets lower as i talk because i want people to hear me talking uh that's just a me thing so if you want to actually watch it it's an entirety you want to leave some feedback there you go tcm regardless i think will be a very fun game on release no matter what it's going to be a good time 100%. Okay. Uh, this is the second game, the third game actually I've ever pre ordered. I pre ordered three games. Okay. I pre ordered Advanced Warfare. That was a terrible fucking mistake. I never pre ordered AAA games again in my life. I, I pre ordered Sons of the Forest. That game was a disappointment. It should have had way more in it than what it actually did. They were trying to have the base building people from like the forest carry the game. They're trying to basically the building, they're trying to have the building carry their game. There, there's nothing in there to do. Anyway, and then I, I pre-ordered this game, okay? So if this game lets me down, I swear to God, I am not gonna pre-order a game ever again. I'm, I'm done pre-ordering. <laughs> like I, the three games that I thought, well, the one game I thought, yeah, the three games I thought I would have enjoyed, the second one, the third one might be a letdown. We'll see, but never again. That's for sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.